Okay, let's move on to the more sensitive subject of female. Um, and then the more sensitive tool, fountain pen. This is a, uh, a product from Innovative Journaling. His name is Arthur, and I have his sketchbooks. Um, they're fantastic. I have his bags. But this is one of his things he made for me. It's a um, little holder, little pencil holder. So if you're looking for, you know, quality that will last you a lifetime, Innovative Journaling. His name is Arthur. Just tell him we talked and he'll take care of you. What the cool thing about it is he makes everything custom and he's just, it's fantastic. I mean, his products are off the charts. So I have his bags, I have his sketchbooks and these, these little cases are unbelievable. They're really cool. Um, they're expensive, but they're worth it. Okay, so this has pencils in here. I like green and uh, it's really good stuff. Okay, so there we go. Um, let's get a little sensitive here. Let's see what we can do with this. So she's walking, looking down. So that would be a rough, an animator's rough. But the story is going to be this hand here. This one we're going to bring out more, so it's silhouettes. We're going to bring her face here. And then she's got this scarf. So see, this has got nothing going on. But she's holding this fabric. This thing goes like that. So I'm going to put her shoulder closer to her face, telling the story. And at this point, you need to get lost in it. So notice how, like, not right this second, but I'll stop talking around this stage because the character then becomes real, and you're drawing on top of the character. And the character's doing all the work. So you have to kind of, you know, shut up and draw. There's a guy out there, his name is Tim Gula. And uh, I'm enjoying seeing his stuff on Instagram. But I knew him back at Brandis, and he was so funny. Just cracked me up. And he had a saying, he said, he'd say, stop your John and start your drawing. You know, it's just so true. Um, I think one of the funniest things from teaching are the students who would write about me and say that I never stopped talking. And I would just laugh because they obviously didn't know me. And um, unless I'm teaching, I'm not talking. So we have to, you know, one of the things is, you know, we want to keep that going because... My classes will get really boring if I teach it the way I work. So, you know, right now it's four o'clock. You know, I'll do this for a while and I'll download these game to Corey. So from today till Tuesday around noon. So from tonight till Tuesday. So this is Sunday. Unless I get a phone call. I think I have one Skype tomorrow, which is like 20 minutes. I'll be silent. Literally like a, a monk, you know, silence. Just won't talk. Just working, studying. So, and that's that stage right now in the drawing where you just get lost in it. So let me try it. Here we go. See you in a few minutes.
Okay. So we're pushing her forward, kind of walking on a windy day. And let's keep going. Because I'm going to download these tonight and get them off to Corey. Because I think I'm going to have a busy week. So I'll be able to post them every day, but I can know they're doing. So we kind of stock up a bit. <laughs> 